This is for Year 11 Methods. It's question number 8 out of 9.6. It's to do with conditional probability. I have two coins in a bag, a fair coin and a biased coin. The fair coin is tossed first. If the result of the previous toss is ahead, then a biased coin is tossed next. If the result of the previous coin is a tail, then a fair coin is tossed. Okay, so a fair coin's tossed first. So I can get a head or a tail on the fair coin, and that's going to be a half and a half. If I get a head, then the biased coin's tossed next, and I'll get a head, because they're both heads. But if I get a tail, a fair coin is tossed, and I might get a head or a tail. And that's point, that's a half, and that's a half. On the third attempt, if I get ahead, I'm going to just toss my biased coin and get ahead. If I get ahead, I'm just going to toss my biased coin and get ahead. If I get a tail, I'm going to toss my fair coin and get ahead, or I'll get a tail. This is a half times one times one, that gives me a half. This is a half times a half times one, that gives me a quarter. This is a half times a half times a half, gives me one eighth. And this is a half times a half times a half, which also includes one eighth. Okay, find the probability of getting ahead on the first toss is part A. Okay, getting ahead on the first toss is a half. Find the probability of getting ahead three tosses from the beginning of the experiment. This is the beginning of the experiment. This is the first. This is the second. This is getting ahead three tosses in the third toss getting ahead. So that's a half plus a quarter plus an eighth or seven eighths. Okay. The next part of the question says getting ahead ten tosses from the beginning. I don't wish to draw this out for 10 amounts, so I'm going to use the transitional matrix. Okay, my transitional matrix, this will be past, this will be future, this will be head, tail, head, tail. And I know initially, my initial state is I had a fair coin first, so that's going to be 0 0.5. Whoops. And that's going to be 0 0.5. Okay. If I get a head, then I must toss the unfair coin, which means that probability is going to be 1. There's no chance I can get a tail if I toss a head, because if I toss a head, I then toss the biased coin. If I toss a tail, then I toss the fair coin, so that's 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. This is the initial state. This is what happens on the first toss. This is applying the transitional matrix once. This is applying the transitional matrix twice. So if I do that to the power of 2, my answer should give me 7 eighths and 1 eighth. So I'm going to go over to my calculator, and I'm going to put in my transitional matrix of 1, 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, to the power of 2, and then I'm going to multiply by my initial state, which is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, because I know that I tossed my fair coin first. Execute, and that is going to be 7 eighths, which is what I had as being my answer from my diagram. So part B is going to be 7 eighths, or in decimal answer, 0 0.875. Part C says to the tenth, on the 10th, it will be this to the power of 9, 
because the first is the initial, I keep on applying the transitional matrix after the first. So for the tenth, I'm going to raise this to the power of 9. And that gives me effectively 0 0.999. Describe what you think is going to happen in the long term. I think in the long term, the more I do this, this is going to approach 1. So if I was to put 20, that is the 21st term, I'm going to get closer and closer to 1. If I put 120, I'm going to get closer and closer to the 1, exactly to the point where that is actually 1, we've rounded. And this is it by 10 to the negative 37, so that's 0 with 36, 0 point with 36 zeros. So it's effectively 1 and 0 in the long term. Okay, so that part is part D. Part A, what happens if a different bias coin with both heads and tails running, but bias to 6040? Well, if it's 6040, I'm going to change this. It's 60% chance of getting a tail, so that becomes 0.6. That becomes, at the top, 0.4. And if I do it to, say, 10, I get an answer of 0 0.454545. So in the long run, the probability I'll have is 45.45% of getting heads and 0.54545% of getting tails. But I better stop because I'm running out of battery.